everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination this set prince so in our last lecture of maven series we understood the concept of dependencies and repositories wherein we covered how to add our first dependency to the maven project then we covered the concept of central repository and local repository that is dot m2 in case you are not familiar with these terms i would request you to please check out my previous video which i'll be sharing in i icon and in today's lecture we will talk about another important topic in maven that is maven build life cycle right so let us try to understand the same okay so as we know that maven is a build tool so in order to build and distribute the maven project as a dependency maven follows the concept of life cycles it has three life cycles clean default and site and each of these life cycles have some build phases associated with these life cycles right so we will be covering clean and default life cycles as part of this series as site is something related to web application development so is out of scope from test automation point of view right so what is the purpose of clean clean is used to achieve the cleanup of target directory so we will try to understand what is the purpose of target directory and why we need to clean up this particular target directory using the clean life cycle right then we have default life cycle this is the important life cycle and most of the phases or most of the things related to build happens in this particular life cycle right so we will try to understand default life cycle right so default life cycle has many phases out of them these are some of the important build phases right so the sequence is first of all the build phase is validate then we have compile test package verify install and deploy right so let us try to understand them one by one okay so what is validate so validate phase is used to validate whether all the necessary information is available or not so for example if something is uh, there is some typo error in pom.xml so this particular phase will let us know right then we have compile phase this particular phase will compile the source code of project such as src main java and src test java will be conditionally compiled so we'll discuss that part as well then we have test phase this particular phase is very important from test automation point of view and from development point of view this particular phase is used to trigger the unit test cases against the source code written in src main java right so we can write the unit test cases using any unit testing framework such as junit or test change it, right and we can use this particular test phase to trigger these unit test cases against the source code right then uh, from test automation point of view this particular phase will be used to trigger the test scripts right against the web application or mobile application whatever the framework that we have written right now once we have validated it compiled it tested it right now the next thing is i'm now going to talk about from the development point of view what is the next phase right now once these phases are completed right so now maven allows you to convert this compiled source code in the form of jar right so we can uh, write ambient package to package this particular compiled code in the form of jar so that if we can distribute it and we can distribute it with other others so that other can use it right then we have verify phase which we will run against the jar to check the integration test cases status and then we can check the uh, the quality criteria if it is met or not right so once above phases are done then we can install this package the jar that we have converted or created into the local repository so that other projects can use it as a dependency in the current machine right then we have deploy right because everything is achieved now the next thing is we can deploy it onto some central location or some or to some or onto some central location or central repository or artifact tree, right so using deploy we can deploy it and we can configure the url where exactly we want to deploy it so this is what is the default life cycle okay so let me show you <clears throat> the same from the entire chip okay so this is the demo project that we created in the last lecture right now if you will notice if i'll expand how i navigated here right so this is the maven project in intellij here you will see one maven section and if you will expand this maven section you will see one uh, life cycle under life cycle you will see different build phases so clean belong to clean life cycle and site belong to site life cycle right 
and rest of the build phases belong to the default lifecycle. So validate, compile, test, package, verify, install and deploy. So they belong to default lifecycle. So this is how they appear in Maven, in the IntelliJ app, right? Now we just took a glimpse of default lifecycle. Now this is clean lifecycle. So clean lifecycle has three build phases, pre-clean, clean and post-clean. So as we just discussed earlier that it is used to remove already generated files by the previous builds under the target repository, right? So whenever we compile the code or we, for example, trigger this particular, any of these phases, right? So as a result of it, it generates some temporary file. So for example, if we are compiling, it will compile the code in the and put it into the target repository, right? If you will trigger the test phase, what it will do, it will generate the report again it will put into the uh, target folder if you will package it if you will convert it into the jar again it will put that jar under the target folder right so now what is the purpose of clean so clean will clean up the previous artifacts like for example we are again we have made the changes and we want to build it in the fresh way so we want to clean the previous compiled code we want to uh, clean up the previous generated reports so we will be using the clean life cycle so in order to trigger this we simply write ambient clean so we will try to understand the same so clean has three uh, phases pre-clean clean and post clean so pre-clean is some activities or processes that need to be triggered prior to clean and post clean is processes that need to be used to finalize the cleaning right so this is how clean life cycle work and this is most widely asked as well what is the purpose of clean so purpose of clean is to clean the target folder okay now this is site 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 life cycle so as we just discussed that this is out of scope but it has four phases pre-site site post-site and post-site deploy okay now <clears throat> we just discussed these life cycles let us discuss how to trigger these life cycles right so to trigger clean and site life cycles what we can do we can simply write ambient clean and ambient site in the terminal of intellij or we can uh, open cmd into the project root right so if you will write mvn clean it will trigger all the phases of clean life cycle it will first call pre-clean then clean and post clean similarly when we write mvn site it will call all the phases right in sequence okay but for default life cycle we cannot trigger the entire life cycle instead we can trigger the specific phase because in default life cycle we have many phases like validate compile test package right but there is something interested in interesting in default life cycle, right? So let us try to understand. So example of triggering the default life cycle phase is ambient test. So when we write ambient test, what will happen is it will trigger the test cases from under SRC test Java using unit testing framework such as JUnit or testing test engine, right? Provided all the test cases are triggered, all the test cases are configured, sorry, right? So when we execute this ambient test, so what happens is like Prior to execution of test, it will first call the validate phase, then it will call the compile phase, and at last it will call the test phase. So it will come, it will call the previous phases in sequence, and then it will reach to the last phase, whatever is defined. Okay, so this is how the default life cycle is triggered, right? We can run multiple life cycles as well. So for example, we can write ambient clean test. So ambient clean will clean up the project previous artifacts and test will trigger the test cases right now let us try to understand these executions one by one first let us talk about mvn validate right so this is the sample project that we have created right what i have done i have created two classes one under src main java under it what i have done i have added one sum method which is to check the sum of two numbers Similarly, I have written one unit test case as well corresponding to this to verify whether this sum functionality is working fine or not. So I have written this unit test case under the SRC test Java, right? So you see that I'm using at the rate test annotation. So this at the rate test annotation belong to test ng. So I'm using test ng as a unit test ng, unit testing framework. Okay. So what I've done, I have created object of this main and then after I'm calling this sum method with five and three as an argument capturing the result in result uh, variable and then after I'm doing the assertions right because the output should be 8 if 
and it should match with the result if it is not then there should be some error like sum is not correct okay so this is how i have written right now let us try to understand the validate false phase first right so what i'm going to do this is form.xml let us add something random okay and now in order to trigger the maven command right so we can open terminal and we can write like this ambient validate right so if i'll write ambient validate this is one way another way is we can go here and we can click on this validate right so if i'll click on ambient validate what will happen let us see okay so we will see we are getting some error we are getting this error because of this particular unexpected text so let us remove this and let us validate it once again okay so ambient validate and let us see what will happen it's this time the build should be success okay so the build is success right now let us try to understand ambient compile okay so let me clean this terminal first cls okay now you see there is no target folder so far so if as soon as i type in ambient compile what will happen let us see so if you observe there are some plugins getting called so we will understand the concept of plugins in the next lecture right now you see the build is success and as soon as i click here i will see one target folder and under target you will see classes so this classes will contain the compiled code corresponding to src main java right as we just compiled right so it will simply compile the source code of src main java right okay so this is how the source code is compiled under the target folder correct and now what is the next command right so the next command is ambient test so if we will for example write ambient test now let us see what will happen ambient test so this time what should happen as we just discussed that in default life cycle if we trigger a particular phase so phases prior to this particular phase will also be triggered right so if you will notice it is triggering some of the phases it is triggering resources compile test resources test compile test right so prior to test it is calling all these phases right okay now if i'll click here you will observe one thing apart from classes you will see another class that is test classes section let me reload this once to show you so you see classes classes will show the compiled code for the src main java and then we have test classes which will show the code related to src test java right so whatever the classes available in src test java corresponding to that compiled code would be available here right now using ambient test what would have happened so first of all it have uh, called validate and would have checked whether there is something missing then it has compiled the code and then it has triggered the test so in order to trigger the test maven internally uses the shorpa plugin we'll talk about in the upcoming sections sessions i mean right now if you will notice so it has triggered the test cases and if you will notice so in order to trigger the test cases it is using shorpa plugin and here you will see that it has triggered the test cases and it has run one test case and there is no failure no error and there is no skip right so in target there is one report as well as generated using surefire so let me navigate to surefire and let me open this particular emailable report right so if i'll open this particular thing you will see this particular report right it is loading so we have executed one test case which is fast right and this is how much time it took right so this is how we can see that the test cases are triggered using the maven right so this is how we can trigger the test cases right now let us try to understand ambient claim right so the purpose of ambient claim right so if i go back to the slides let me go back right so we discussed that it remove all files generated by the previous field right so there was this previous field so we uh, run so many commands so as a result of it there were so many files right so next time when we want to for example rebuild it we would suggest maven suggest that go for ambient clean first 
and then you trigger anything else so we can either call mvn clean separately or we can call it with rest of other life cycles as well right so if i'll call mvn clean it will simply clean the target folder if i'll write mvn clean test what it will do it will clean the target folder then after it will call this particular validate phase compile phase and then test phase because we are calling the test phase right so it will again compile the fresh code right so let me trigger this so we will observe the same so first of all it is cleaning up right so it is calling the clean plugin right then resources then compiler so you see compiler plugin is also called which is generating the uh, compiled code for sources as well as test classes right and then after it is taking the test cases so if i'll again click here so it has first created clean the target folder and it has regenerated the compiled for classes and test classes and it has generated the new report right so if you are in doubt let me type in ambient and ambient clean separately so if i'll type in ambient clean separately so we'll see that it has clean up as soon as i'll click here it will show that target folder is removed okay so to show you let me reload it once yeah it took some time but as soon as we will reload this will go away it has already went away right because i clicked on this but it took some time so i'm been clean is used to clean the target folder right so this is what i wanted to cover as part of 